In this video, we'll be going over the iterative approach of symmetric tree. So given a binary tree, check whether it's a mirror of itself, symmetric around the center. For example, this binary tree is symmetric. So initially, we have compared the root node with itself. So one compared one, so it's valid. Then we compare the left subtree and right subtree, and they have the same nodes. And then we compare the right subtree of two with the left subtree of the other two. And then we compare the left subtree of two and the right subtree of the other two. So let's go through a dot process. We will be implementing the iterative approach. In each of the iteration, we will be comparing the values of two nodes with the exception of the root, which it will be compared with itself. So we would denote the two nodes as P and Q. Let's go over all of the cases. If both of the nodes are null, then they are a valid pair. If one of the nodes is null, then it is an invalid pair. If the, if the nodes have the same value, then they are a valid pair. And if the nodes does not have the same value, then they are not and they are not a valid pair. Or they are an invalid pair. We can keep track of our nodes inside a queue. In each of the iteration, we will pull two nodes out of the queue for comparison. After comparing the two nodes, we will add the children of the nodes into the queue. Let's go over pseudocode. Let's validate the, uh, the input parameter first. If root is equal to null, then we can return true. Then create a queue to, to keep track of our nodes. Add root twice into queue because initially we'll be comparing root to itself. So while Q is not empty, pull two nodes, Q, P and Q from, Q from the Q. If both of the nodes are null, then we can just continue the next iteration. This is a valid pair, so we want to compare the next one. If one of the nodes is null, or the nodes does not contain the same value, then we can return false. Now we want to compare, so we want to add q p dot left and q dot right into q. This is our first pair, and then we add p dot right and q dot left into q. That's our second pair. And then return true after we have validated all of the pairs. Let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. Visit each node once, and then our space complexity is, all, is also O of n. Q itself. Now let's go over the code. Validate the input parameter. Create our Q to store our nodes. Add the root twice. And then compare all of the pair of nodes. If 
both of the nodes are no then we can then, then it's a valid pair we just continue the next iteration if one of the nodes is no or it does not contain the same value then we can return false I'm going to add the next pair into the queue p.lf q.add q.write this is the first pair and then we're going to add our second pair so p.write q. And then return true after we have validated all of the pairs let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below